Thank you for tuning back in to Rayleigh Small Engines. A lot of times people will bring these little saws in. They're very inexpensive to buy. We generally don't repair them because the cost is dang near what you can pay for one. This one, I see already there's the spark plug boot hanging off. But we're gonna see if we can show you guys how to fix these yourself and save you some money. Also let you know we've got some stickers in if you'd like. I'll put our email down at the bottom and you can shoot us an email with your information and we'll gladly mail you one out. Stay tuned at the end of this video. I've got a mail call here, someone special, and I figured it'd be appropriate to do a chainsaw video just for this person because this is a chainsaw guy. So y'all stay tuned to the end and watch for this mail call. So let's get started and see if we can fix this up for you guys. Okay, let's take a look at this thing. Run off the bat, let's, that's not a good sign. Let's pull this cover off and see what we're dealing with here. Those screws are already loose. Okay, no spark plug. So, let's take this a little step further. See if we get some sparkage. Okay, so I went and found a spark plug. Got a BPMR7A. Let's just stick it in here and see if we got some spark going on. Let me zoom you guys in where you can see. Okay, let's see if I can do this without hitting the camera. See the spark? So three things are needed in order for your engine to run. Spark, compression, and fuel. Now, I don't think you guys are going to be able to see in this cylinder, but I'm going to give her a shot anyway. But I looked in there, and I don't see any real bad scoring or anything. You can remove the muffler and look on the back side of the piston. I don't think, judging by what I saw down the spark plug hole, I don't think that's our issue. So I'm gonna put the spark plug in and we're gonna get us some gas and just see what'll happen. Let's see what this gas that's in here, if there is any. And yeah, that's old, okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go dump this out. I'll prime the primer ball and get all this gas out of here and uh, we're going to put some fresh gas in it and go from there. Now, when you don't just go pour the gas on the ground or whatever, do the right thing and take it to the recycle place. Spill gas all over the tank. Don't worry about it. A little extra sparkage, it'll be okay. Some fresh gas in here. Yes, please recycle that gas. Don't don't be bad and pour it out. I'm gonna primer ball this thing up. And we're just gonna go sit him on the floor. And let's just see if this thing will pop off. Alright, let's see what'll happen, folks. Choke out switch on. Uh-oh. try that one more again what I did I pulled the choke out which will also set the throttle cracked open we'll fix that in a minute uh, and then once you push the choke in it'll be on fast idle then you trigger it and it'll idle down we want it to stay on fast idle choke out Choke halfway in.
So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to I'm going to put the air cleaner and all back on and the cover on, take it outside, let it sit out there and run. It may work itself out. If it doesn't, we'll have to take this another step further. Let me pop this air cleaner and the cover back on it so it don't run hot on me. So I kept it running out there, but it's bogging. When you trigger it, you hear ball, ball. So anyhow, what we're going to do, we're going to take this bad boy off. Get this carburetor off, and it has probably got a bad meter diaphragm or fuel pump or trash in the screen. And y'all seen a hundred of these uh, carburetor cleans, I'm sure. So let's get this popped off. I'll show you all you got to do to do it. Real simple. That screw, couple of nuts, and you want to pull this off. Some of these you have to pull that little screw there off and. Get that out of your way and then we've got fuel lines to deal with so stand by a second simple to take these apart there's a hundred videos out there so everybody's got their own way of doing stuff this one is mine I don't know how many of these I've done on camera we notice a wall bro because it says so and watch your little linkage over here when you go to pop this apart so that you can get it hooked back up correctly if it falls off, don't worry about it. It'll be on camera. You can just put it in reverse. If you haven't done it yet, why don't you give us a one of them thumbs up on the video. That'd help our channel out. And maybe reach over there and click the subscribe button while I'm doing these little teeny tiny screws out of here. Pay attention when you're taking these apart of how these gaskets go. This little guy goes on top. Your diaphragm, I mean, uh, your gasket goes on the body itself. This one doesn't feel bad. Nice and pliable. Let's look into the other side. We're looking for a reason why it's boggy and it may just need nothing more than an adjustment but i figured we'd want to look i see a little bit of dirt not too bad give me a second and i'm gonna clean this up well i just want you to see that's your little screen in there and you can take a pick tool and pop that right out of there Let's see if I can do it while I'm holding it up close for you. And I'm looking through the doggone camera trying to do this. And I'm probably going to drop the doggone thing. I can't see what I'm doing doing like that. See, there's your little screen. So we'll get that. We'll clean that up. There's your hole right there that goes to your needle, which is right there if you can see from my big old fat fingers so the other thing you look for you see that um well if i can get it to focus see that wta and you can get these little tools and this is how you'll check your lever on there see it says wta right there at the top and then what you'll do is check the height of your lever to make sure that that lever should be just barely touching. And any other codes you have, they're all imprinted on this tool. If I can get it where you can see. So this one appears to be good. So I'm just going to clean this up. And we're going to put it back together. You can buy one of these little kits off of Amazon. It's got all the different types to fit your adjustments on the carburetor, which are right up inside there. 
So just take them out one at a time until you find one that fits the screw. And then we're gonna do a little adjusting here. I'm gonna pop this cover back on and I'm gonna probably open them up just a little bit, let it run a little richer and see if she'll pull on some more fuel because it kind of sounded like she was starving for fuel. So stand by and let me get this cover on. Notice something missing. I just pulled the air filter back off. You know why? I forgot to put the doggone choke lever on it. Are you kidding me? Stand by, let me get that thing back on. What we're gonna do, we're gonna see if we can do a little adjusting on here. Let's see if we can fire it up, see how it's gonna act. And I'm just gonna basically go in and unscrew a little bit on both of these screws just to give it a little more fuel. That'll make it a little richer before I even start it. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Just cause I heard the way it sounds. I'm just give it a little bit of a turn on each one. Let's reaching it up just a little bit. All that's doing is allowing more fuel. Switch on, choke on. These are the same deal like a Husqvarna or a lot of the other solids. You pull the choke, it's gonna cut that switch on for you. Well, like that. A little tough, but. Oh, we got a pop. you guys watching we didn't even have to pull the carburetor we did but we didn't have to we just loosened you know uh, adjusted up on this carburetor some uh, this customer we had told them you know generally they cost more than they're worth to fix so I'm gonna give this customer a call back and give them their saw back if you check right up in the top I'll put a link somewhere up there uh, we had worked on their John Deere just a couple videos back and fixed it. So let's get on into the mail call. We've got all the way from Canada, Steve's Small Engine Saloon sent us some stickers. He was kind enough to send those. Stay Bill stickers, one of these fancy cards, and then nice. Look at that cool car. Pretty sweet. Thank you, Steve. Y'all go check his channel out. I'll put a link to his channel down in the description. And we're going to be proudly displaying these stickers on our board over there. So thanks for tuning in, folks. We're going to take a quick look at the sticker board. Y'all click that subscribe button. Check out, click the piston down here. And that way you can subscribe to our channel. Check out this video. We've got another one coming up. So y'all check them out. Thank you for tuning in to Rayleigh's Small Engines. And there you have it, folks. I want you guys to go check out all these great channels. You can pause this video at any time. Check these guys out. Thanks for tuning in to Rayleigh's Small Engines. You guys come back to see us.